Alright, so now we're going to start on GX. I'm not doing a ready set duel because, again, this is just a tutorial duel, mainly just to teach how to secret. So, we're going to start with a blast from the past. We're going to be doing against Jack Atlas. And. Yeah. By the way, my last my stream from I guess now a couple a couple nights ago. I don't did I don't I did not stream last night. I did not stream last night. I was mainly just editing, just trying to fix my laptop, edit my, and then throughout like last night and today, I was pretty much editing that five hour clip. And there's like one 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 clip that was like a whole hour long. Just basically trying to trying to be Sherry. It's on my YouTube channel. So yeah, that's there. So let's see what I got here. Okay, I got. Okay, I I think I got nothing. Yeah, I got nothing. You know what? I'm gonna hold off for one turn. And I got Scrap Iron Scarecrow on my field, so... I I... Alright. Scrap Iron Scarecrow. So I got Nitro Secret in my hand, so I can guess and I have, like, junk. So, this is... I'm sure this is the point where... I don't have Starter's Dragon yet. Yep. I got Nitro Warrior and Junk Warrior, so I got that. Okay. Activate Speed Wars effect, it doubles attack, and. Okay, I want to kill myself now. That's nice. Okay, we'll use Scrapper and Scarecrow on the uh, Dark Resonator. Alright. So we'll go ahead and bring out Junk Seacron. Use this effect to bring back my Speed Warrior. And we're actually going to go ahead and Seacro Summon. For Junk Warrior. Alright. This thing can survive one attack per turn. turn. So I guess might as well take out a small piece of gloom. So. Take that monster out, and hopefully, hopefully, maybe like next turn or something, I can go ahead and take out that that dark resonator. <laughs> Tuner scheme. To my opponent's side, if he'll take control of this secret zone and remove. If I play when it's destroyed, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. We'll bring out Nitrous Seacron. Okay, well, I guess we're not going to destroy that Dark Resonator yet, because we're going to go ahead and bring out Nitro Warrior. When Nitrous Seacron is used to summon Nitro Warrior, I can get a draw. So we're actually going to go ahead and. First, attack that. Wait, what? It's only it's only for one turn, right? Hopefully. Okay, okay. Let's go back to twenty eight hundred. Okay, good. Okay, I got it. Okay, I got it. 
First things first, we use Speed Wars effect to double the attack. Now, Nitro will go ahead and attack this face down. Wait, what? Oh my god, you guys are kidding me. Well, good thing I got, well, I got, do got Tuner's game in case he does Secret Summon and he's tributing it for Big Peace Golem. Nope, Scrap Iron Scarecrow. Come on. Alright, so let's set you. And I'll attack with you. Take it. Take this monster out. You attack directly. And now he's down to 4600 life points, so. Alright, he's summoning Red Dragon Arch Fiend, so. You know what? Tuner scheme. Pretty sure we just won, so. Just to kind of go out with a bang, why not? Bring on Nitro Warrior, another one. Nitro Secret, unless we draw a card. Another tuner scheme, but not like it matters. We won! Alright, so now we're taking on... Bull Tanner, we got this crazy old man, and what is what? How did he manage to do that with his hair? That I will never understand. Alright, I'll go second. Fuzzy is a ban. Yeah, here we go. I'm starting on G GX. I just beat Jack. So, what does this thing do? Once per turn, you contribute one other Cornell Army monster. You can monster. Then target one face up monster your opponent controls. Its attack becomes zero. Okay, so let's see here. What is this card? All Konami monsters I control gain 800 attack points. A Konami Pyramid Eye Tablet. Hardly see that. Oh, I think this could work. Alright, let's do it. We got normally crystal bones. We'll bring out anomaly. Oh, I tributed? Oh. That was a mistake. I mean, my monster still won, but. Uh. I think I, th I would have been better off tributing them for um, He Missed the Infinity, which is actually a really good card. What do you got?
Just because I wanted to um, bring out Amos to Infinity and start tearing stuff up with it. With it. Battle steer. Magic cylinder. And the dog wants out of my room. Give me a second. Okay. So, what does this card do? When the face of Konami monster you control is destroyed by battle or by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, you can special someone. Um, okay, well, I guess I'll get this card ready, but. I'm actually going to go ahead and bring out Emus the Infinity. Okay, I'm screwed. Okay, now I'm screwed. <laughs> what the? This card can be attributed to some machine, t machine type monster. But he has 2300 attack points, so I can at least take this thing out. So, what would this card do? When a Konami monster is in my battle, I can special summon one Konami monster that's facing in defense, but it cannot change its battle position. Okay, we'll see what we can do here. I just realized I'm down to 3,300 life points already. Boris Raider. And he's tributing it for Ushioni. So what? Okay, so then what Konami monster is utterly useless? Sure, I'll just use this. And if I don't draw anything good, I am done. Okay. And trust me, I, I, I do want to use the story decks for these. I'm just really hoping the game's balanced out enough for where I will actually be able to use them. Set these two cards face down. How would I rate this game? Uh, I don't know. It's all right. Pretty. I don't know. It's all right. I wasn't necessarily a fan of the um, the decade duels, but I think decade duels. I think this was better than them. I got nothing I can summon, so I kind of had to start holding this monsters down.
Okay. This card would not help any. If you can suppose to part from my hand. Alright. So you know what? I got a plan for next turn. I got this face down to, to, to protect them. That thing can't attack. So my plan is to get these two monsters out and the next turn get ready to summon out Emus the Infinity. So that's kind of the plan for now. It, yeah, it is better than Dueling Network. I, 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 I haven't been on that site in a long time. Okay, so what does this card do? You can banish this card in your graveyard to target one level 3 or higher monster and position on the field. Change it to... So I got e the Infinity, and what do you do? Phantom Beast Wall Horn. Draw and battle between the attack card and defense position monster who's... Oh, okay, so this monster pretty much has a piercing ability. And every time e destroys a monster, you gain 700 attack points, and it's in a pretty much stack, so that's... Stacks, stacks. This card is so good, man. So... Come on. Hmm. I'm gonna try to set up for another unit. I'm gonna keep that card on the field because he gains 500 attack points every turn. That and it will be in attack mode, so. Actually, you know what? I got a plan. Oh, uh, well, actually, maybe not. Because I thought he was gonna have like 4,000 attack points. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I, I got a plan, so. This monster, I, c I contribute this, make this monster's attack points zero. I'm gonna watch you train. Train wreck Terran and, and then go play a bit myself. Alright, but So plan. Use this monster ability. Tribute next turn. Use this monster ability. Tribute this. Make this monster attack points zero. Of course, this one. This monster card will deal 500 points of damage. will be on 3500. So then use Emus the Affinity to finish him off. So next turn, I win. As long as he gets like a big draw. Alright, so 500 points of damage. He's down to 3,500. Phenomenally Cabrera. Trabucket? I don't know. So, use this card. Tribute this. Make Uchi Yonis attack points zero. And then Amos will finish it off. There we go.